Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 61 in chapter 21. Chapter 21 is about ele electric charge and electric field. So we look at this system. It tells us we have a positive charge Q and it's located at this position along the x axis, right? The, this one is just makes a distance x between the center point O, the orange point O with this location at there. And we know we have a ring, and this ring with the radius R is located at the orange position O. And this ring carries a uniform distributed negative charge, and the total charge is called negative capital Q. Now I tell you, if the charge this is a small Q, right, this, this is small Q displaced at this location, and this location is a small distance x uh, with this uh, origin position. And I ask you, uh, can you prove this is the simple harmonic motion when released, this is a small charge will do the simple harmonic motion. So you can see, we can consider, um, for this uh, ring, it carries a uniform distributed negative charge so it will produce a uh, electric field along the x axis. Do you agree? Yes. And this then we put this particle charge in this electric field. It will produce the electric force, right? It will there will be a electric force acting on this particle, uh, particle charge, and this force can be the net force, and this. We, if we can prove this negative force can make this point charge do the simple harmonic motion, then we are done, right? So looks like the first step is to find the electric field along the x-axis by this ring. Do you agree? And this is just what we did in the example in this chapter, right? So you can check your textbook. You can see we did the work on this ring. It is there, and then how could we find the electric, electric field at a position P? And we find we only need to consider the electric field in X directions, and Y direction is just cancelled, right? And we have the function, look like this one. You, you can double check with your textbook, so you can see we find the electric field at the position P, is just equals to this function along the x axis. Agree? So now we just copy it to write the electric field at this location. Can we do that? Yes. So we can write it down the, you can see first one we look at the renders. So we look at this equation. We can see 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. This is a constant. The next one, this is a charge carried by this ring, right? And similarly compare there, this is also the charge carried by this uh, capital ring. This large ring is negative Q. It tell you negative Q, right? And also this X is a distance from the center of the ring to the position. Similarly, this is still the X from center of the ring to the location. So X, we copied there. And then the A is the radius for this ring in this uh, picture. So in this case, the radius for this ring is capital R, right? Therefore, we find the electric field at a location P at this location by using this function. Agree? Yes. Now you can see, we put a point charge there. There will be an electric force acting it. So this electric force is the charge of the point, the point charge times the electric field. Right? And then we input this uh, E inside, so we can get the electric force equal to this uh, uh, function. And you can see, we need to prove this net force do the simple harmonic motion. And by definition, the simple harmonic motion tells us the net force equal to negative uh, a constant about an uh, elastic constant K times the x, the distance it is from the center, right, for the origin of the simple harmonic motion. 
This is a definition about simple harmonic motion. So we need to make this function. So this term equal to this term. You can see, uh, it tell you one keyword. Tell you this is a small distance x. Agree? So that means the x is super small compared with capital R. So in this term, we can ignore the x. Just keep the r squared. And then r squared times 3 over 2. This is a power, so we get this r cubed. Right? And this x, we keep it there. This is one way to simplify. So this is a keyword to tell us how to simplify. Now you can see, we need to prove this net force equal to negative elastic constant times x. So this uh, left hand side, we write the force at there. The right hand side is a negative k elastic x. Therefore, we can find the E elastic constant just equal to this term. And this term, you can see q, small q, capital Q, constant, 4 pi naught, 4 pi epsilon naught, constant. X is by this fixed ring constant, right? Now we proved it. Yes, this is a, this point charge due the simple harmonic motions because it satisfies the definition, this function. And we also find the elastic constant there. The next one tell you for this point charge, the mass is m. Can you find its period? So easy. You can see, we just get the elastic constant at zero, and by our definition, the period in simple harmonic motion is 2 pi squared m over k, right? So you input the k inside, simplify this function, you get answer zero. Thank you.